We on the Hub team get asked by our customers how they can share applications with key groups of individuals. So today I want to show you some of the ways you can share an application with a group of followers, um, for example, a survey. So let's start with uh, an initiative I have. I'm going to go from our Hub overview into one of the initiatives, which is Sustainable Redlands. This is kind of a mocked up initiative I've created. You can see here I've got a few applications. I've added a follow button so that users can easily follow it. And now I want to add a survey to this that followers can take and that will require them to sign in to take the survey. So here I have a survey one, two, three, ready to go. And if I click the collaborate tab, I can choose to share that survey with selected groups. One of the groups I've chosen to share with is the Sustainable Redlands Followers Group. And you're wondering, what is this group? If I click the details of this, you'll see that this is a group created by ArcGIS Hub whenever you create an initiative. It will create a group of followers for you, and you can use this to share content um, with those followers. So you can see I have the content here, and the survey I created is shared with these followers. And you can see the members on this members team who are, are members of my followers. And you can see I'm in there because I've created this initiative as manager of or owner of this group of followers. But I also have my twin in there, and that is uh, the good version of me who's going to be a volunteer and follow this initiative. So how did this volunteer become a follower and end up here? Well, my initiative is public, and you can see in my incognito window, and when I view the site, I have options for following. I can click this little follow star, or again, use the follow button that I added previously. And you can see I'm signed in, and this is what I see. So now I want to add a survey to this page for volunteers like me to take. So how do I do that? So I have my survey one, two, three shared. If I go back to my initiative website, there are a number of ways to share content. Um, I'm going to go to the layout builder and add my personal favorite, which is the gallery card here. And I can drag this anywhere on my page. And now you can see I have a gallery card. The settings are visible to me. And there are a couple of ways to add content. One is to add co content to your gallery dynamically using groups or tags. And the other way is manually. I don't see my survey here, but if I start to type in Redlands for my followers group, I'll see my group of followers here. And if I select that, you'll now see the application that was shared to that group show up. Um, I could also have done this manually by adding content to this group and searching for my parks survey. And I could have added it this way. So the number of different ways to populate your gallery. Now I have my survey in here, just some little tips and tricks. I can go ahead and style this out a little bit. So I like to have a drop shadow and I personally like the rounded corners. And now I'm ready to go um, with sharing that. So I will save my site. Now keep in mind, this is shared to followers. So I'm going to um, go back over to the site and when I sign out. You'll see the anonymous view of the website has the applications that were there before. And when I sign in, I'll sign in with my Facebook account that I use as a volunteer. And you'll see now that application or that survey appears for me and I can click to take that survey. And you can see there's your survey one, two, three form. Now that's done by embedding a gallery on the page, which is kind of a handy tool. Um, but you can see I've, I've added, you might see a couple other ways I've um, added the survey up here. So let's take a look at that. If you didn't want to use a gallery, on your site editor, you can go to the header, for example, and add links to your header. So 
In the menu links, I've done this two different ways. In this way, I have directly embedded or added the Survey123 sharing link here and just done it that way so that appears in my header. The other way I've done it is to create a page in my site on my initiative. So you can see I have a page here and this is my survey page. And when I edit that, you can embed a survey on a separate page like we did with a gallery card or you could directly iframe it in. And when I do it the page route, that's kind of nice in that the page visibility here um, also follows the rules of ArcGIS Online as well and the, the rules of groups. So in my, in my team back here, if I look at the content, I've shared that page to just this followers group. So if I were to come back over here and let me sign out. You'll see that that tab or that link in my header isn't there until I sign in. So this is a really handy way to share entire pages with different groups of people, whether they're internal staff or followers that you want to have see specific content. So I hope that helps you. Um, those are just some of the ways of sharing content that are easily done with ArcGIS Hub. And uh, thanks. Bye.